Good morning, my beautiful community. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, burning up hot here in Texas. Imagine that. So we're expected to maybe get up to 100 degrees and break a record on Thursday. And then a cool down is supposed to come on Sunday. We really, really hope so. Our ground's already starting to crack guys out here. We're still in a drought. Several of our area lakes are down seven, eight feet still. My goodness, guys, if we go into winter and we do not get that above average rainfall that they're promising us, we're going to be in trouble in the spring. But I got an update for you. Caught them red-handed. Check out this video. So we've not really ever had that problem in the past. I, I, I'm concerned and I'll show you why here in a minute. But uh, let me also show you what Greg is doing. But I wanted to give you an update on this little high tunnel in here. Uh, everything's gonna be fine this week through this heat because it is gonna be brief. But we're gonna have to watch it. And we're gonna have to keep it watered and we're gonna have to make sure and protect it. My greens are really looking good. This is my baby bok choy. Look at these taters, guys. My taters are going gonzo in there, and I'm glad. Celery is doing well. This is my butter crunch lettuce. I cannot wait for this to come to fruition. And then I think this is my ice queen, I believe, with some um, oh, Tom Thumb lettuce. My arugula. You can see I'm starting to see some army worms, so I've been trying to take care of that early in the morning. And then army worms are trying to get a hold of this bok choy and more of my tom thumb lettuce. But um, I think we're putting up a good fight. I have lettuces coming up over there. And I got my carrots. They're coming up. These uh, beans aren't looking too good. I'm kind of working with them. I loaded them up with some organic matter yesterday, hopefully to see a change. There's some of my purple onions, actually, guys, that I've been growing all summer long. And they're just now starting to take off. And I have some radishes, and there's my dragon tongues beans. And of course I got some broccoli and cauliflower, and some spinach, and my spinach is getting munched on by those army worms too. Dead gummit. So there's always a battle in there guys, but we're learning from all these battles. It's helping us understand things a little better. We're taking the precautions and we're doing everything we can. So let me show you how some of my plants look over here after Bunny Foo Foo had um, his or her way with them. Some of them are okay. I keep going in and planting, guys. I'm hoping that I'm going to get a break and some are going to survive. I'm hoping that at least 75% of them survive. I'm just not sure that's going to happen. But Greg has done something this morning to help shore up things a little bit. Ta-da! So he's going around the bottom of this and he's going to staple it and we have it over here this will allow us to keep the sides open because it is still burning up hot we can't come out here and close these sides in the evening and then open them up in the morning it's just too dead gum hot and it'll burn everything up at night so hopefully this is going to stop bunny food from coming in here and uh and having a buffet and guys, this happened early morning, so I had my camera set on a motion detector. You can see it right over there. Um, and it didn't start till around 4 a.m. this morning, which is around the time I'm getting up. But yeah, so it was an early morning muncher. Quite a bit of damage in there, but thankfully I've got backup plants. I transplanted some of my seedlings this morning into these uh, three inch pots. And then I have these that I will be going in and putting in the ground over here. I'm going to wait and see what happens tonight and I'll load this ground up tomorrow. The elm okra trees are just continuing to blow up guys. You can see all the blooms on those plants and honestly those there in the middle they're probably about eight and a half nine feet tall if not taller and our tomato plants are starting to look a little bit better but I think this week uh, being in the heat is going to take a toll and it's going to kind of set them back a little bit but Hopefully, guys, we're just about through this. 
So I wanted to give you an update on our vermin. On a vermin. We did catch him. I'll keep that camera up um, a couple of days. I'll keep it armed at night so I can see what's going on in the middle of the night and early morning hours so we know what we're dealing with. Take care. God bless. Love you all. More to come. Hey, hit that subscribe, guys. Hit that like button. Share these videos. See you later.